In just a few hours, we will hear that countdown again. It is a busy day for space this afternoon. SpaceX launched another round of satellites. And tonight, Boeing will send astronauts to the International Space Station for the first time. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Yeah, glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. Two astronauts will be taking Starliner on a test flight. Hopefully tonight. Here's a live look at the launch pad right now. The spacecraft from United Launch Alliance has been seeing many setbacks, to put it kindly, over the last few years. But leaders say it's ready now. News 6's Eric Von Anken joins us live from the Space Coast. Eric, what are these astronauts doing right now? At any moment, Matt and Ginger, they are getting dressed into their flight suits. They're over at the operations and checkout building, not far from where I'm standing right here at Kennedy Space Center Media Headquarters. And they're about to put on their bright blue Boeing space flight suits, their pressurized suits. Not to be confused, not that that might happen, with SpaceX's kind of muted white and gray spacesuits that we've seen now, what, some 12 times. Remember, SpaceX has launched astronauts to the space station going back to 2020. So this is a first for Boeing, a very carefully and curated first for Boeing. It's a test flight. Yes, they've done two in the past, two of which did not exactly go well without astronauts. But as you say, Matt, now, Boeing and the astronauts and NASA are absolutely ready. So shortly, the astronauts will get into those flight suits. So it's Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams. They are veteran Navy captains, test pilots. They've flown helicopters. They have flown F-18s. They have been in war. They have become, not just through Navy test pilot school, they have become Navy test pilot school instructors so they were purposely handpicked for this mission to fly this first test flight again with humans on board of this Boeing vehicle as for the vehicle itself the Starliner well that is behind me at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Space Force Station now a little bit different than we've seen launches here from the Kennedy Space Center they haven't done this since the 60s from the Cape Canaveral Space Force F Station in just a few minutes the rocket, the Atlas V, which is launched now today, will be the 100th time. It's a very reliable lot rocket. That will be fully fueled in the next half hour. So the next pictures we expect to see Matt and Ginger are of the astronauts getting into those flight suits. We expect the live feed from NASA right around 6.30. That's our ne next update for now live at the Kennedy Space Center. Eric Von Aiken getting results, News 6. Treasure Roberts, by the way, is just down the road from where we are here at the Kennedy Space Center. She is with all kinds of people who've come out to see this because it's a first flight of a brand new vehicle with astronauts. Treasure? Yeah, Eric, the early birds are here. They tried to claim their best spot to see the launch tonight. I see a dozen people here so far. Chairs are set up. They brought their snacks. They're ready to go. And there's still about four more hours until liftoff. But they know just how crowded this area can get. Here's a look, a live look at the launch pad. As people continue to trickle in, they are just waiting to see that rocket in the sky. I met Nathan McFlurry and his son Emmett a couple hours ago. When they came to scope out the place, they said they'll be back to watch the launch tonight. Both of them are actually from North Carolina. And get this, they only drove here to get a new puppy today, but found out the Starliner is set to lift off. Now, After clearing it with mom, Emmett and his dad decided to stay. Are you happy that you came to get Preacher on this day? Oh, of course, yeah. What, how, how much more exciting could it be for a 10-year-old to get a dog and two rockets on the same day? <laughs> and it's my first dog ever. What most excites you about launches? I like the part when they just take off, watching like it separate from the tower where the astronauts get in and watching it just lift off in the sky and thinking that it's going way up there into space. I mean, this has to be the best day ever for Emmett. He's on the news, he got a cute little puppy, and he gets to see a rocket launch. I'm so happy for him and his dad. We'll continue checking in with people out here and share their stories with you.
I'm not even out there and I'm super excited for yeah. all of them, including you, Treasure, because you're going to have a really great seat. And you're witnessing history tonight, and that's also really special. I look forward to your coverage out exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. Should be great. Thank Treasure you, Roberts. Treasure. Super. Thanks so much. Again, the launch time is scheduled for 1034 tonight. That's just a few hours, about four hours from now. All right, Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrell is joining us now. Hey. I know that they don't call you or no. any <laughs> local meteorologist. Correct. No matter what you hear somewhere else. But <laughs> you don't hear that here. Uh, but uh, very, they say 5% chance that yeah. anything bad could happen. Yeah, it's so not it's the weather. Not if something happen. stalls them out, it's a, It'll hey, be a, a technical Yeah, we've a little guessed that a chip went wicked, something, something strange. Right. It's yeah. not the weather.